unboxing, uh, I got a few of my um, parts here uh, from Victron Energy. Five year warranty. Nice. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to unbox is my TR48 uh, to 12 to 9 amp DC to DC converter. Uh, so this is, uh, the box comes in, it's about uh, 4 inches by, maybe a little bit more. One, two, three, well, maybe 4 by 4 inch box. And uh, it's got a manual in it. What this basically does, actually, you may start with that, is uh, it takes my 48 volts that I have for my uh, engine bank, and then it converts it to 12 volts for my, um, like my, like your standard boat electronics and everything is 12 volts. Um, so this little box is all that really comes into it. it looks like I've got those nifty uh, little screw down connectors. Uh, so I do like the connectors a lot better on this here. It's got a little blue green uh, LED for on off and uh, it's got a heat sink on the back which is good. The Celia one has the same. The Celia one's about the same size but this one I know feels heavier uh, than the other one so Transformers probably a little bit bigger. Um, this one's isolated so it's intended to not be uh, tied into the same uh, grounding as uh, the rest of the electronics, so it's designed to be just an isolated DC to DC converter. And uh, it actually has uh, an ability to have a remote on it. I didn't know that, so I'm going to have to take a look at that. Um, it's IP53, which means it has a certain amount of weather protection uh, built in. And uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. So it's got uh, two inputs for a remote, it's got two inputs for input and two outputs, or inputs for output. Uh, so you bring your 48 volts in and your 12 volts comes out and it's 9 amps. And uh, I'm pleased that it comes with a uh, five year warranty. And uh, the part number uh, that I got on this is called an Orion TR48-12-9 amps. And uh, from what I understand, you can hook these up in parallel. So if you want uh, 18 amps or uh, you know any combination of nine and I think they just recently came up with one that is uh, uh, double the amps uh, anyways but you can put them in parallel uh, so that way you can get more power out of it if you need but I, I, I don't have very much electronics on my phone 12 volts but it'll do nine amps at 12 volts <laughs>
I take a lead off them and I put them into this. Uh, this was a Celio or Celia uh, buck converter is what it's called. So it's basically a huge heat sink. And inside is just a really basic, um, some transistors and things that convert it from 48 volts to 12 volts. So Why am I changing it, I guess? So I'm not exactly convinced that the um, uh, Celia is uh, marine compatible, meaning it's going to wear out over time. It's sort of where my feeling is, general sentiments. So in uh, the unboxing, basically it comes with um, a manual, instruction manual, and uh, it actually has a five-year warranty. And then uh, inside, what it looks like is uh, very similar. So it's got a big heat sink on the back. Uh, so the one that I bought is an isolated DC-DC converter, Orion TR48129. So it's 48 to 12 volts, 9 amps. And uh, one of the other uh, challenges that I had, oh, here it is here, here, it is here sorry, IP43. Um, so one of the challenges that I had is that uh, what that's for. Oh, there's a little plug on the bottom of it. Okay, it. Looks weird, but there is actually something here called remote. So it's got some kind of remote capability from Victron. I'm not sure 100%. Um, but uh, one of the problems I had with the current one is that my fridge uh, here. Actually, I don't have it on here at the moment. But one of the problems with my fridge is that it had a certain amount of sensitivity to um, voltage. So what I would find is that uh, when the voltage would drop to uh, 11.2 volts on that buck converter when the compressor kicked in and then it would slowly creep up to 11.8 volts. So even though my system is 48 and that's supposed to be a 48 to 12 converter, as soon as you kind of gave it any kind of load, it just didn't, it didn't peak right. So I had to figure out in my fridge to put the settings on it to say ignore low voltage. And then uh, when the voltage dropped too low and crept up slowly, at least the fridge wouldn't turn off. Because what was happening when I first installed the fridge wouldn't be is that it turned off. So my little uh, buck converter that I have there just doesn't have the oomph, I don't think. Uh, the power draw, I think, was really getting um, close to where that was on the start of the compressor. So that's why the voltage dropped down to 11.2 volts. Uh, so this one here, um, I'm going to... Uh, you know, from what I've read, uh, I believe it's going to handle the load quite a bit better. Um, and it uh, takes an input of uh, rated 32 to 70 volts, so it's a big range. And its output is 10 to 15 volts. Uh, the power is 110 watts and 9 amps. 9 amps, 110 watts, 50 watts. Yeah, so I would have been 4 amps. That's right, in the other one. So half the power. So I had kind of a feeling that that one was like around 5 amps, and that's why it was dropping. So this one here has got a little bit more power in it, and uh, it being Victron Energy. Uh, now that I've bought a few of their products, I'm just going to stick with Victron Energy. Uh, so basically there's an input, and you put uh, your uh, 48 volts in, and then the output comes out 12 volts. Uh, so I've got kind of all the wiring and everything already set up here. I just need to... Um, replace the one here on the wall with this unit, which I'm going to do at a later date. I think that's all I wanted to say about it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully this uh, helps somebody at least understand what it is and why I'm putting it in. There's a few pieces. It's going to clip out. <sighs> These are my... Um, battery chargers. <laughs>